We have some great dogs and cats to introduce you to on today's show. They're up for adoption and need a good home. Also, have you ever wondered how the city deals with barking dogs and animals at large? An officer with Animal Services will answer those questions on today's show. Stay tuned. Edmund Animal Services is more than a shelter. Walk through its doors and you'll find a helpful staff and loving animals waiting for their forever home. Get Acquainted Rooms let you visit with any one of the available dogs and cats. Friendly staff is more than happy to answer any questions you have about adoption or their other services. Let's find a home for these wonderful animals, for pets sake. All of the animals except for man know that the principal business of life is to enjoy it. Samuel Butler. Hi, welcome to the show. We're here with Brick. He's a five-year-old beagle mix, and um, you can see that he's just as solid as a brick. He needs a little bit of exercise, but he sure is cuddly and soft. We've been um, playing with him for a little bit now. This is my daughter. She just loves him to pieces. You can see that he's really good with other kids. He is uh, great with other calm dogs, really great with kids. He's just as soft and friendly as he can be. You can see that he can sit and he listens really good. He's just a friendly little fella. And Brick is not the only dog up for adoption here at the Edmund Animal Shelter. I'd like to show you a few more. I'm here in the cat room with Jazz, and he is just a real laid back fella. Just look at that sweet face. He is about a year and a half old. He's a gray domestic short hair, and he is um, real friendly, real laid back. Just sitting here, he loves to be petted, and he purrs like a motorcycle, I guess. <laughs> He's a lot of fun. There are other cats up for adoption here at the shelter, just like Jazz. Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan with Edmund Animal Services. One of my duties is responding to complaints and concerns regarding animals. I'm also responsible for enforcing both state laws and city ordinances regarding animals. Some of the most often reported complaints that I respond to are barking dogs and animals at large. The city of Edmund has enacted ordinances which address both of these issues. When it comes to barking dogs, it's a violation of city ordinance to harbor within the city any dog or other animal that by barking, howling, or otherwise disturbs the peace and quiet of any person or persons. We're not the ones who determine if the noise an animal makes is a problem. That's subject to what another citizen will tolerate. Our role in these cases is to educate animal owners about the city ordinance regarding noise complaints and encourage them to keep their animals as quiet as possible. If the problem continues, the complaining party can require the animal owner to appear in court before the municipal judge and potentially face fines and court costs. As far as animals at large, the city of Eben prohibits any person from allowing any animal, including cats, to be at large at any time. At large is defined as meaning not securely confined by a fence or other means on the premises of the owner or not under the control of the owner, an immediate family member over 12 years of age, or an agent of the owner by a leash or otherwise, whether on the owner's premises or not. What this basically means is that all animals need to be kept secured by a fence or on a leash when outside at all times. When we take custody of an animal that has been found at large, Owners can potentially receive a citation to appear in court, which can result in fines and fees, as well as the animal may be taken to the shelter where impoundment and other fees will apply to reclaim the animal. We all know mishaps occur, so not every instance where an animal gets out will result in these consequences. But for the safety of your animals and the safety of other citizens, do your best to keep your animals confined at all times. Proper identification on your animals can help us return them safely to you and possibly with no fines or fees. Help us help you by educating yourself to the laws which pertain to you and your animals. 
it will keep your animals safer and may save you money. One of our happy adoption tales comes from Paige Hutchinson, who adopted her dog Maya two years ago. She writes, my experience at the Edmund Animal Shelter was wonderful. I found the picture of Maya online. I went to the shelter to meet her and immediately fell in love. There was a short application. While I filled it out, Maya was able to be in the Get Acquainted room with me. After a small fee, Maya was mine to take home. She is a fun-loving, spunky girl who enjoys cuddling, running outside, and being as close to me as she can at all times. Maya loves to go over to my mom and dad's house and play with their two older dogs. She provides constant entertainment in my household and I couldn't love her more people should adopt from a shelter because the animals are oftentimes just needing love and attention. A good home makes a world of difference to these wonderful animals. The process is simple, easy, and very rewarding. If you have a happy adoption tale, we would love to hear it. Please send us an email telling us about your adopted pet and your experience at the Edmund Animal Shelter. As a thank you, we'll send you a For Pets Sake name tag. Did you know that a lot of people don't know that Edmund has an animal shelter? Not only do we have a great shelter, but we have some great pets who need forever homes. They want warm laps to sit on and their very own backyard to run in. If you could provide that, would you? Or do you know someone who's looking for a pet? Tell them to come to the Edmund Animal Shelter. We're located at 2424 Old Timbers Drive, right off I-35 and Covell Road. Check out photos and bios of the adoptable animals by visiting edmundok.com. You can also find us on Facebook. When you adopt a pet from the Edmund Animal Shelter, you will receive a new For Pet's Sake name tag as well. The animals here look forward to your visit. 